Hey you guys, hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Danny Royal from dannyroyal.com and I am here with another video. Um uh it's so crazy because um I have I have words that I have to release that I have not released yet, but I have to release these words. Um it's been so much going on. Uh it has been um good for the good, for the good none bad you know um now i can say that there has been some spiritual warfare but it's nothing that abba can't handle nothing that abba can't handle so i'm super excited to know him i'm super excited to be his daughter i'm super excited to know that he loves us in spite of ourselves but not only that he loves us you know <laughs> just because he can and um i wanted to bring this word to you guys because uh you know it's necessary and i don't know why but for some reason god has had me on judgment 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 and so i try to be obedient as obedient as i can be i don't want to be disobedient to the voice of the lord um because uh, w what i do know is if you don't use what god has given you he will literally um send somebody else you know to do to do that and i'm like god you know I'm like, I said that I would be a vessel that would speak your word um, and that I would sing your praises and that I would do all of these different things. And so here I am. And so um, also, also, um, for those who don't know me, I'm your girl, Danny Warrior from DannyWarrior.com. And thank you so much for all of the subscribers, all of my new subscribers, all of you guys. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys on so many levels it, it feels so good to be able to connect with you guys um in many ways more than one um and um even those who follow me on my social media platforms on uh facebook and instagram under crown up underscore o w n underscore up um i really really appreciate you guys for that as well um god is doing a new thing there is a shift going on you know and um um, I'm excited to to see how things evolve and um, I'm excited to see things evolving um, not just on my channel but also in my life and in the lives of many others that I have come in contact with and that I have been coming in contact with it's such a beautiful sight to see there is so much going on so much transpiring for the good for the bad kingdom marriages just kingdom relationships kingdom connections and no kingdom marriages and stuff like that is in the bible but god has literally been speaking to his people in reference to these things and so in light of that i'm like god just continue to use me i do know that he was dealing with me about kingdom marriages and different things like that and he still has been and so getting that word out to you guys and getting the words that god has spoken out to you guys are very 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 imperative so you guys so welcome welcome again thank you so much for being here for those who are not new and you've been rocking with me for a little while even though this channel is fairly new i really appreciate you as well um and you already know what you're gonna get you're gonna get some love you're gonna get some joy you're gonna get some dandy royal you're gonna get some crowning up with me you're gonna get a little bit of everything you're gonna get some word now it's so funny because you know i was like this is gonna be my motivational page this is gonna be my crown up page where I, you know, uh, pour into others where I motivate people, where I talk, you know, my talk and, you know, um, just g give, give my story, you know, um, and just carry you guys along with my journey, uh, that God has me on in this season. And it still can be, but it's so crazy in this weird way. And it's not crazy. It's, it's God because God has a way of doing things in his own way. God uh, has literally been cultivating me through this channel in the spiritual realm. And he's been pulling out of me uh and pouring into me you know through my through my my gifts you know um um through, whether uh it be through encouraging motivation um and also even with um the gift of pro prophecy and so you know i know a lot of people you know they try to stare or uh steer clear of you know titles and things like that and i don't i don't this is my thing. I, I'm not like, I'm Prophetess Danielle. You know, I'm Prophetess Danny. You know, I don't, that's not what I am. That's not what I do. I'm not going to say that's not what I am, but that's not what I do. I don't get my credentials and stuff from, from, from man. I get my, my, I get my validation from the Most High Eye, and that's how it's supposed to be. You know, you have a lot of people who walk around here with titles and different things like that, and they don't even operate in the office. 
um, and they're false, you know, um, or they don't even operate in the gift, you know, or they do operate in the gift and they may even have a call to their lives in that regard, but they use divination or they use other things. And, you know, I, I bless God because he allowed me to do a video on how he has, tra he had transitioned me from, you know, um, doing like Oracle cards and stuff like that. Now I wasn't doing like tarot, but you know, it still was divination, you know, in a sense. And so God basically, you know, just, he tugged on my heart space a lot of it. I'm not even going to say a little bit. He tugged on it a lot of it. And so because of it, you know, I'm here and I'm still able to minister the gospel to you guys. I'm still able to pour into you guys. And I love that. And so I'm, I'm sold out for y'all, you know, and, um, I believe that he's doing great things, magnificent things, awesome things, amazing things, you know, in ways that I eyes haven't seen is haven't heard and neither has it entered into the hearts of men the great things that god has in store for those that love him so i'm excited and it is celebration time so moving on to the next thing you know this 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 may not be the the whole hoopla hoorah video but i'm gonna say a prayer and i'm gonna give you guys what god has given to me okay so, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your peace, oh God. I thank you for your spirit, oh God. I thank you for you, Holy Spirit. Oh my goodness, I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for your son, oh, oh Father God. I thank you for sending him, allowing him to die on the cross. Thank you, Yeshua, for dying on the cross for us. Something that you did not have to do. Something that we would not even be bold enough to do. But you still did it. I thank you for your presence. I, I welcome you here in this place. This is your home this is your car this is your space this is your place father meet me here stay here be here live here abide here rest rule here oh god even in this video i thank you so much for all that you are i pray that you continue to have your way i can i pray that you continue to move like never before continue to allow me to have the love oh god of the father oh father let me allow me to be able to love like you do oh god and help me to see and help your people to see um uh, each other how you see us oh god not just the way that the world views them oh god help us in loving and and, and 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 be kind oh god because according to your word it says with love and kindness have i drawn thee i thank you for all that you are all that you're doing all that you're going to do hide me behind the cross even in this moment i ask that you speak to me speak through me and speak for me even in this moment in the name of yeshua hamashiach amen so you guys let's get into it so yesterday night like I kept getting woken up. I kept getting woken up. You know, uh, my daughter, she, uh, she's she been sick or whatever the case might be because of her asthma and everything. And so, you know, I was up. So I thought that I, that, that was the reason why I was up, you know. No. So that might have, that was part of the reason why I was up. But that was not the f full completeness of as the reason why I was up, right? So I was up. And as I was up, you know, I was just sitting looking through my phone and God led me to a scripture. So he led me to a scripture. And so I was reading from the message Bible and I really love the way that the message Bible um, breaks down and interpret things because it, it, it gives you more of a plain um, view of what the, the, the author is trying to convey because everybody has a different preference as far as word as the, what they like to use. Okay. But for me, the message Bible is where it's at. But today, I'm going to read to you guys from the uh, the King James Version because I can't pull up the message Bible and be on my video at the same time. So you guys, prayerfully, I can get my message Bible soon. So, okay. But God led me to Samuel, 1 Samuel, um, chapter 3. And I'm going to read it for you guys. And it says, uh, verse 11 through 14, and it says, And the Lord said unto Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both the ears of everyone that hear it shall tingle. In that day I will perform against Eli all things which, have, which I have spoken concerning his house. When I begin, I will also make an end. For I have told him that I will judge his house for every, I will judge his house for ever for the, for the iniquity, the iniquity which he knoweth because his sons made themselves 
bio and he restrained them not I'll read down to 14 and therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli that in iniquity of Eli's house shall not be purged with sacrifice nor offering forever okay so God gave me that you guys bear with me I'm sorry for rubbing my eyes I got allergies and um you know they're not my friends some days but God gave me that and so reading it from the message Bible it is totally different like it is it, like it makes it plain and it just brings it to life on, on levels that shh, man okay so now now what God did was he allowed me to read it but what stuck out to me was verse 13 okay verse 13 I'm gonna read it again for I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth because his sons made themselves vile and he restrained them not okay so the message Bible says because I wrote it down I didn't write the full uh, scripture down but this is verse 13 and it says it says let them know that their time is up and that that stuck out to me in the message Bible so apparent he said let them know this is this is in verse 13 in the message Bible and it gives a whole new feel and opposed to what uh, 13 reads in the King James Version. But in the Message Bible, it says, let them know that their time is up. And I was just reading the scriptures and God led me there. And I was reading the story about Samuel as to how, you know, he thought that Eli was calling him. And he ended up actually uh, 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 being called by the voice of the Most High Yah. And so Eli told him, he said, he said, um, Basically, he was just like, you know, speak. He said, he said, he said, when, when you hear that voice again, you say, I, here I am, the Lord God. I mean, here I am, your servant here. I'm listening, basically, in a nutshell. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. And so, in this moment in time, and I, this is for somebody, you have heard a word and God has been saying something. And, and you thought it was somebody else saying it. I need you to understand that, no, that's God. And I need you to move. Not do, not I need you to move, but the Holy Spirit needs you to move. That's for somebody, okay? But I was reading, and he, and he began to hear. And, and Eli told him, he said, hey, what I want you to do is, I want you to go, and I want you to listen. But after God had given Eli the, I mean, given Samuel the word, Eli said, I want you to listen to everything that the Most High Yah says, and then I want you to speak to me and tell me everything. Don't sugarcoat anything, but tell me everything that it is that the Most High Yah said. And he had to listen, and he had to act upon it because Eli knew. Eli knew. He knew that that was the voice of the Lord. He knew that he knew. He knew. Okay? So that was that. That was, that was Samuel. Now, 1 Samuel... Um, um, chapter 3, 11 through 14, main verse 13. But then God led me to, and I was sitting and I was listening. He led me to Jeremiah. I heard him so loud and clear, not loud and clear, but soft and clear. But he spoke as I was reading that. And he said, turn to Jeremiah 19, I mean, Jeremiah 29. I said, okay. Okay, father. Go with me along as I turn to Jeremiah chapter 29. And this basically was confirming what he had said. Now the message Bible read a little bit differently. Um, so bear with me. 29. 29. Whew. Lord. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Okay. Verse 
I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming, y'all. Give me one second. And it was Jeremiah chapter 16. I mean, the chapter 29, verse 16. And it reads, it says, Know that thus saith the Lord of the king that sitteth upon the throne of David and of all the people that dwelleth in this city and of your, your brethren that are, are not gone forth with you into captivity. 17, it says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword, the famine, and the pestilence, and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten. They are so evil. Okay? 18, And I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, and with the pestilence and will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth to be a curse and an astonishment and a hissing and a reproach among all nations whither I have driven them. 19. Because they have not hearkened to my words saith the Lord, I saith the Lord, which I sent unto them by my servants, the prophets raising up early and rising up early and sending them, hold on rising up early and sending them but ye would not hear what saith the Lord 23, okay I'm going to go all the way down to to 23 and it says because they have committed vine vine hold up villainly villainly in Israel and have committed adultery with their neighbors wives and have spoken lying words in my name which I have not commanded them even I know and I am a witness saith the Lord he gave me that. Now, it read something different in the Message Bible. So, so that's confirmation. And God has been dealing with me, you guys. God has been dealing with... Y'all, I wrote this down. I wrote this down, literally. And it says, judgment. Time is up. Time is up, you guys. Time is up. I was like, I've given you guys time. I've given you what to say. I've given you what to do. I've sent my prophets. There's been false prophets. There's been so many di different things. So many people saying so many different things. But as verse 13 said in um, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 13, it says, it says, let them know that their time is up. The enemy's time is up, you guys. And I need you to understand that for those people who are a part of the Most High Yah and they are a part of the remnant, remnant. I need you to know that we're going to be protected. God has literally, He has literally been covering us and He's going to constantly cover us. But I promise you going forward, there will be pestilence. There will be war. There will be famine. There will be all these things that the Word spoke as Jeremiah stated in, verse, in chapter 29 verses. Hold on. 18 and 17. I'm going to read it again for you. And it says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will send upon them the sword. People are going to be dying left and right. Okay? They're going to be dying left and right. The, God has to judge. And he's going to judge. He's going to judge righteously all across the board. He's going to judge the ones who have been doing right. He's going to judge the ones that have not been doing right. And I need you to understand that God has given us time he has given his people time let me calm down let me calm down he has given his people time to choose ye this day who you gonna serve he has given his people time to literally live for him or die for him or not he has given you time to get your heart right he has given you time to forgive he has given you time to to do whatever it is that needs to be done and now he's like look you know 
They didn't take advantage of the time correctly. They didn't do well with their time. So now I need you to let them know. Let these people know that their time is up. And the thing about it is, for those people who know, these, mm, Holy Spirit, have your way, Holy Spirit. There are people who know what's going on. They, there are people who know what's going on in the nation. There are people who knows what's going on in the church. And they still choose to go down way. They still choose to do that way. They still choose to act like they don't know what's in that word. They still choose. They're, they're choosing. God does not force himself onto anyone. He does not. But they are choosing. And he's like, okay. And for those who have chosen... To do what's contrary to God's word, they like, hey, because Eli, Eli knew. He allowed it to go on. And I don't know who this is for, but how many pastors, preachers, and teachers, how many leaders have allowed things to go on within our state, within our America, within our, our churches, that they know within their households that they know God has not been pleased with. That, that they know that they haven't been upholding the standard. How many? And if you are watching this video and you are one, God is giving you another opportunity to get it right in this moment. But that does not mean that you will not be judged because you will be judged. But what it means is you are rescued and you are safe because God has acknowledged your heart space. This is what he has done. He has acknowledged your heart space. And when he acknowledges your heart space, he's going to grant you grace, a little bit more grace. He's going to grant you a little bit more, uh, a, a little bit more uh, mercy. And we thank God for grace and mercy. But I need you to understand for all that time that you've allowed to go by. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for all that time you have allowed to go by and you did nothing. You did nothing. You did nothing. God's going to judge and he's going to judge righteously. So when things come upon you, don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Say, Lord, not my will, but your will be done because I knew. Help me to cease to do evil and learn to do good going forward so that I can stand, live, rule, and rest with you and reign. Okay? Y'all, it's a little heavy. Slow intense, okay? So there will be pestilence. There will be famine. There will be people dying by the sword. And it might not be by swords, like literally, but they're going to be dying out here. And maybe even swords, who knows? But they're going to be dying out here. And I need you to understand that God's going to cover his people. During that time of judgment, God is... Thank you, Holy Spirit. God is doing a wealth transfer. So through all of that stuff that's about to occur and take place, God is setting it up for his people. I need you to understand that he's going to look out for his own. And a lot of the mercy and grace that has come about this, you know how they say, oh, I, if uh, it was only by the prayers of my grandmother that I'm still, it was only by the prayers of my mother that I'm still, it's only by the prayers of the righteous. The Bible says, Simply that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous avail of much. I'm telling you, the people of God has been praying and God has honored those prayers because he's given more time and he's given more grace and he's given more mercy and he's shown love in ways that we don't even deserve. But I need you to understand that on this video, on this day, May the 5th, five means the number of grace. I need you to understand that God is gracing you this moment and opportunity in this moment, to get your heart space right, to get your mind right, to get your house in order, set some things in line because judgment is coming. Judgment is here. It is here. God's like, the time is up. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. The time is up. Judgment is here. I don't know how it's going to hit your house, but what I do know is, is that it's here. And guess what? You need to be on the lookout and you need to be in prayer mode. You need to be in fast mode because this is not just a natural thing. This is a spiritual thing. But guess what? A lot of the things that has taken place thus far has been from the spiritual realm. And what I need you to understand is it is about to be manifested here on earth. Now, that does not mean that God's not going to bless because God's going to do what he promised. 
He's doing a new thing. Kingdom marriages are coming through. Kingdom connections are coming through. But if you realize and if you look around, God is shifting his city. He is moving his people to new territory. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see the shift going on. But God is moving his people to new territory because he knows where he's going to hit. He knows what's coming first. He know, he he already know. He already know. He's not just ahead of us. He's ahead of the enemy too. Y'all, I, 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 that's all I got. That's all I got for y'all. That's all I got. I mean, I got more. I got more. I got more. But I, 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 I cannot, I cannot pray against what God is doing. I will not pray against what God is doing because in this time, God, it is necessary for what God wants to do through his people and for the newness that he wants to bring through because he said, I, and I've been speaking it and I've been saying it because this is what he, he has given me months ago, that there shall be a rejuvenation of a nation. And so in light of that, that means we have to go through whatever God is about to do. Now, it's not going to affect his people the way that it's going to affect the wicked and the hard-headed and the disobedient and the stubborn. Whichever category you fit in, God is about to do it, y'all. And, and God is loving. He is kind. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and add of no sorrow. We're about to experience the fatness of the land. We're going to experience uh, other land filled with flowing with milk and honey. Yes, we are. But I need you to understand there's going to be pestilence. There's going to be famine. Famine. There's going to be food shortages. There are going to be people dying. People dying by the boatloads. Okay. Ah, uh, Holy Spirit. People dying by the boatloads. Hmm. Father. But he is with his people. That's what I hear him say. He said, I am with my people. He said, this is the last morning. This is the last chance. And he's, all I can hear him say is, and it starts now. And it starts now. So maybe this resonates with you at large on a larger scale but maybe this resonates with you just within your household alone where god's like hey you need to get your house in order because i'm about to judge your house because he's doing house he's judging households he's judging churches he's judging states he's judging the nation and i don't know what you've been doing he's judging people we are the church so he's judging us so wherever you stand, if your heart's not right, I urge you to get it, get it right. If you did not know God in the pardon of your sin, I, I urge you to get to know him. The first step is accepting him and believing that he died and he rose on the cross. I'm extending salvation to you in this moment. Say, Father, I believe that you died. I believe that you rose. I believe that you sit at the right hand of the Father. I believe that you are living God. You are alive and well today. And I'm asking that you forgive me for all of my sin, knowingly and unknowingly. Live in me, walk with me, walk through me. And not only just accept him in this salvation moment by receiving him into your life in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. But also asking him for the gift of the Holy Spirit to abide in you. The gift that's going to cause you to do right when when you really want to do wrong. That spirit of conviction, that holy the Holy Spirit convicts, but not only does it convict, it is the revealer of the truth. And it is a revealer to those who diligently seek him. And in this time, I don't mean you no harm. As you are taking this time out and taking this moment out to receive Christ into your life, what I need you to understand is that. We need God now more than ever. There will be better times. Yes. But there's going to be so much more going on. It's all in the word. It's all in the word. 
I don't know who's going to be around for the tribulation period. I don't know who's going to be around for when these people start going ham and, and, and the enemy's just running rampant across the land. I don't know when the Antichrist really shows himself. I don't know. So, but what I do know is, is that if you don't know him, you need to get to know him. So if you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, and if you believe that he died and he rose, you have done yourself a service that, 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 oh my goodness, that will change your life forever. And it's not saying that you're going to live a perfect life. That's not what God is looking for. But he is looking for a person that is in a people that are willing to be perfected through him. Give God your yesterday. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to crown up. Yes, crown up. You might have to cry a little bit. You might have to cry a lot. But then I want you to own your story. Own where you've been. Own where you want to go. Don't stay in the sunken place. Get up. Get up. Why? Because we have we have things to do in the kingdom. We have to take up our royal places in the kingdom because we have work to do. Okay? I love you guys so much again. Once again, you guys, please be sure to share these videos. Not just share these videos, but leave a comment in the comment section below. And also, let, just know that I love you guys. Not just I love you, but God loves you ultimately. Jesus loves you. He's a gift that keeps on giving, okay? And um, I need you to understand that God is doing a new thing. He's doing a shift. But there has to be judgment that takes place in the land for the just as well as the unjust. Okay, but understand that there is a wealth transfer going on. And guess what? That the wealth of the wicked is saved up, is saved, stored up for the just. Okay, I love you guys. You guys be blessed in Jesus name. For those who don't know me, once again, I am your girl, Danny Warrior from DannyWarrior.com. And be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment to this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a blessed day. Peace.